Hi everyone. So the Eagle Dynamics CH47F Chinook is finally here in early access. Typically it came out whilst I was on holiday, so it made for an extra treat on returning home. I have managed to have a few flights in different environments and I'm mostly enjoying the experience. I say mostly as when I first started to fly the aircraft, I wasn't that impressed. It took a lot of effort to control, as you'll see in the following examples. This start sequence is what we want you to achieve, and I'll show you how to do it. So, what I'm showing you with the current flight model is something that to me resembles the version 1 of the Miltech Chinook, which you'll find in Microsoft Flight Sim. That model, by the way, has since been updated and flies far much better. The problems manifest themselves pretty much after lifting off, at least in my experience, and impacts all controls. Yes, I've tried adding dead zones, etc. But as you'll see here, with the aircraft in forward flight, it doesn't want to fly straight, even at speed. And in some cases, the back overtakes the front. This is actually an issue that the AFCS in the real world has fixed. And as you can see, you end up in all sorts of trouble. So in this next example here, this is one of the missions you can do in the Caucasus. I think it's pick up a Hawk radar and drop it off on the ridge line. And you can see as soon as I've lifted off into the hover, rather than wanting to go forwards or stay solid, the aircraft, it's, yeah, it's kind of pitch, pitching all over the place, right? And then I just skip forward a little bit. Um, I did actually manage to pick the cargo up but it was you know a bit of a challenge in this one I was also recording it on the screen I normally fly in VR so do, doing it like this also presented a few additional challenges for myself but there you go I did manage to get it but uh, it was certainly a bit of a challenge so this right this is what we're after you see how it's lovely and solid just being guide, guided in nice kind of slow on top of the load, drop the uh, straps down, and there we go. Nice stable hookup. This is what we're after, right? So I'm going to show you how to be able to do this now. So what you need to do then is to open up your keys options, right? And you've got standard ones for auto auto start, auto shut down. But what we're looking for is Bob. Okay, no idea who Bob is, but Bob is pretty awesome, right? And you can see in the options there, you can have three selections to either just have uh, turn uh, the Bob option on, turn it off, or this what I've got basically is a button. It's just the option to turn on off, right? And Bob, it, certainly for the short term, is your saviour. So what does Bob do? Well, essentially Bob, you can see in one of the options there, it's, it's a work in progress, right? And they did promise a basic kind of trim system. And, and it's pretty much that, that's what it is, right? As soon as you select Bob, Bob will maintain the attitude, altitude, and yeah, essentially the direction that you're flying in. Not only that, and but just through a bit of experimentation, because I thought it was just a simple thing that's just going to hold me in a certain attitude. But I realised that with Bob activated, you can actually move your cyclic and also your thrust, aka the collective. So you can roll, although it is limited. It's almost to like a rate one kind of turn. Uh, you can climb, so you can climb to altitude. But the whole time, it's... It's lovely and stable, so you can have low speed flight, you can have a great uh, hover, you can accelerate, but it is, you know, it does kind of tone things down sort of somewhat, right? So if you do want to throw the aircraft around to a certain degree, it's almost like you have to take Bob out of the equation and then kind of ride the, the bucking Bronco, so to speak, and then when you want things to calm down a little bit, bring Bob back in and Bob will, will keep the aircraft flying, right? Now, there's loads more stuff, obviously, I want to talk about in other videos when it comes to the, the flight model. As other people have mentioned, it's it's as if, you know, L LCTs don't exist. It's, it's as if the dash doesn't exist. 
so there's still a bit of work to do but as far as you know how it looks uh, you can see I've done some like um, gunning and you know mucks about an Afghan and things like that um, yeah that that side of things with Bob up and going has made it much much better so what do you think then what have your, have your experiences been so far with uh, flying the Chinook uh, certainly when I come on the um, aerobatics server I can see it like fob London and Dallas it's kind of chock-a-block of Chinook it's a bit the same as there was loads of phantoms when phantom came out and it's quite quite cool to see and who who knew that you could cargo uh, fire yeah this, this this is pretty cool right okay see you on the next one fly safe bye bye